Hello, this is Chris Rowland with bestwindowsmobileapps.com giving you a review of Spinballs, a challenging puzzle game with a bit of a different kind of twist to it. Uh, the main aim of the game is to match up as many coloured balls as you can on these rotating discs. So, for example, there's four green ones there, and then you'd press the button. Uh, that actually tells you how many um, what's the largest number of balls you have connected and then it'll choose them and when you press that button they disappear and get replaced with different colored balls um, well a mixture of them not the same because yeah because that would defeat the object of the game but anyway the point is to keep going through and get, getting rid of as many as you can this up here is a little timer uh, which counts down and when you run out of time you've lost so you meant to keep going as long as you possibly can to help you on your way there are these four extra things there are little arrows pointing towards them there, 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 there. and when you have some balls um, like for example these three yellows here the minimum number of connected balls is three so if you got those three um, then they would and they are in contact with that via that little arrow um, that would start to fill up and when that's entirely full then you can use that and that I believe knocks all the balls out of place and replaces them with different ones so it's kind of swap around that one freezes the time for a bit that swaps all the ball, current balls around into the best possible configuration for you and that I think multiplies the amount of points you get for removing walls by two. That down there gives you your actual um, uh, what's it called, your uh, score, that's the word, um, and also your level is shown there. As you gain more points this little loop there slowly fills up and when it gets to the end it then goes on to level two. Every time you level up the uh, time starts to go quicker um, this game, uh, these graphics are actually really quite nice. Um, the screenshots that you see on the Windows Mobile Marketplace are quite low resolution and a bit pixelated, which doesn't justify this game at all. It does look quite good. This is just a screenshot because um, <laughs> it's incredibly hard to play the game and talk. So I'll open it up now. Um, well, first I'll tell you this is this game costs four pounds nineteen. I don't know how much that is in euros or dollars, but in English money, it's four pounds nineteen. Uh, there is a free demo available. Um, I don't know what the differences are between the free one and the one you have to pay for, but on the Windows Mobile Marketplace, which is where you can download this from, um, uh, the only difference in the two apps is on one page it says there's endless hours of fun um, and then on the actual one you pay for it says endless hours of pure fun so who made a difference um, so there's probably a limited number of levels or something before it says please buy me um, yeah so let's open it up there is music and sound effects as well and this menu is, is quite nice, it's chunky, um, it looks pretty, um, I don't know if you can hear it, but there is some, actually it sounds like wind in the background, so go into settings, turn the music up, don't know if you can hear that, but anyway, um, when you click start, the time starts ticking almost straight away, um, and it's incredibly tricky to try and play it and talk, so I'll see how I do. Three, two, one. Okay, so there's plenty there. Oh, lots of reds. Nine, in fact. There's a lot of the time, you could just keep pressing this button. Um, which is kind of cheating. Um, but <laughs> so, there's some blue ones there. Blue ones there. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause it. Someone <laughs> came and knocked on our door, so I shall now continue. Yes, this is the in-game menu where you can 
change the music and sound levels. All very finger friendly. Let's see how far I can go. If you notice, there's a little arrow pointing up there, and then that fills up slightly. Every time you get some balls, um, it adds time, so <laughs> that's how you don't always run out of time instantly. Now I'm going to keep going until I can actually use one of these to show you. Oh, there you go. So I'll use it in a moment. I'll just let the time run down a little bit, and then... There you go. Now it's turned, bl well, icy. And it stopped going, so level three. Um, it does get a bit challenging the uh, higher up you go, because every now and then, well, as I said, you can just keep pressing this button to see how long you can keep going, but eventually you will just run out of options like that. So you have to actually start moving them around again. Um, if you click on one side, it will turn clockwise. If you turn on the press the left, it goes anti-clockwise. So that's the time coming back again. Now I want to get this one over here. Oh. Oh. Level 4. There's this nice little animation thing coming up whenever you uh, go up a level. Ooh. Um. Oh, awesome. I like this one. It knocks them all out. And it has very interesting sounds to it, and it works very well, I think. The animation is great, the graphics are great, sounds are not irritating which is quite good a very nice addition to this game it's smooth and it's just overall very nice as you can see you can go through the levels quite quickly I'm not even sure how many levels there are but, as I said, the further you go, the less time you have. But it only actually really starts to matter when you get very high up. Um, otherwise, you do seem to have plenty of time. Like right now, I, ooh, yeah. I'm really not wanting to do bad and look stupid. So... means anything you get is times by two, I think. <laughs> I'm no expert. But um, anyway, yes, that's... Well, uh, let's, let's just see what happens when I run out of time. Gives you a little sound when you're getting close, and then... Ooh, new high score, rank number three. Main menu, and you can in fact look at your high scores. Uh, level ten is what I've got up to. Um, with <laughs> 18,760 points. So, um, Spinballs, what do I think of it? I think this is actually a very addictive, fun game. Um, 419 is, yeah, that's a that's an alright price for this. It, it definitely has a lot of reuse value. Um, I play this quite a lot of the time. The sound effects end up annoying my housemates um, <laughs> because they're getting sick of hearing them. But, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone. It's good fun. This has been Chris Rowlands. Thank you for watching.